Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to another DP Tubs video. Today I'm gonna to be working on an acrylic or fiberglass bathtub shower unit. This one has a repair that was done previously that's just standing out like an eyesore. And I'm gonna fix that and then reglaze the whole thing to make it look like new because the owner here is trying to sell this property. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and try to scrape off as much of that patch. You can see someone just kind of sprayed paint over it. I don't know exactly if there's a crack there or what, but I'm gonna go ahead and scrape off as much of that as I can and then sand it down. Then I'm gonna go ahead and sand down the entire unit just to kind of scuff it up, get it a little rough, and um, then do a deep clean and um, get it ready for primer. So here we go. material off and it looks like there's a small patch done it's not cracked through or anything like that so I'm gonna go ahead and sand it down and then I'm gonna put on some smoothening putty I'm gonna basically use some of this the Bondo high bond filler and I'm gonna go ahead and smoothen it out with that and it'll make a big difference and then I will get the rest of the unit ready for cleaning as you can see over here some soap scum just some basic normal staining units not horrible but i've got to get all of that off so when i spray my material will stick and adhere to the surface and then I'll go through with my blade and scrape those off. So it's actually really good. This isn't like a total cleaning process. This is kind of loosening up the dirt, helping me be aware of the actual enclosure. It's easy to see that when you're using this, or it's easy to feel, it's nice and smooth in some areas, and then when you get to soap scum, it just kind of sticks. And so it's real easy to tell which areas you need to really clean. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is look around. I'll find some spots that I can kind of scrape. Not really need to just kind of take it through. Someone painted here before and got overspray everywhere. So I've got to go through and just kind of scrape off little pieces here and there. See here? If someone tried to touch up there, right here. Just little things I've got to get. You can hear it. And keep in mind, I'm still going to sand this to help it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take some lacquer thinner. You could take rubbing alcohol, mineral spirits, acetone, depending on your surface, and go ahead and kind of wipe it clean.
can see that as I was sanding, it was still even picking up some more soap scum. That's all soap scum that was still on the surface. So it's really getting it up now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scrape it some more. I'm gonna clean it off and then I'm gonna wipe down, after I sand this, I'm gonna wipe down the unit with some lacquer thinner to remove the remaining soap scum. crazy to think that so much soap scum was, has already been removed and that soap scum if not removed will totally affect the quality of the finish at the end of the day so you got to make sure to clean thoroughly and really well and keep in mind I'm not done yet I still have to apply the lacquer thinner or rubbing alcohol whatever you want to use to kind of make sure everything's just real clean then even after that I'll take a tack cloth and wipe it down before I spray the primer. So, still quite a few steps left. I'm gonna go ahead and get that area patched up right now. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna get ready to go ahead and patch up that area. Just letting you know what I'm using, I'm using the Bondo High Bond Filler. I really like this, it sands really well. It's real light. That area is not cracked all the way through, so this will be a nice skim over to smoothen it out. And I've got the hardener that comes with it. And a lot of you have been asking in previous videos, what spreader I use. I use the Bondo spreader, and basically you can get this at Home Depot along with this if you're uh, just in the fiberglass repair section. Now there are other um, putties that are much more expensive and are sand down a little bit better, but I've been real happy with this high bond. And so this is something you can get, um, you can get over at Home Depot. I'm trying to show you guys materials that you can use just getting at your local warehouse uh, for the most part. So I'm going to go ahead and get this mixed up and apply it to that surface. start taping off around the perimeter of the unit start taping it mat putting up the masking paper and then once that's dry I'll sand it and then do a final wipe down before I spray the primer so I've got the perimeter taped off I'm still gonna put up masking paper but right now I'm gonna go ahead and, and put the uh, tape around the fixtures Anywhere that you want a nice clean line, I always will put tape, either the orange tape or the, or the blue tape. So keep that in mind. Anywhere you want a clean line when you remove it, make sure you're using tape. And then I take my paper with masking tape and tape over this tape. It's easier for me personally to get a straighter line when I put this row of tape first. final skim coat on there that looks so much better gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna go ahead and lightly sand that again in the meantime while it's drying again I'm gonna go ahead and put up paper around the perimeter of the unit I've also got everything taped off as well I've got those taped off now I'm gonna apply the paper All right, you guys, I've got everything masked off and I'm gonna go ahead and spray on the primer. I'm gonna tack it down real quick with the tack cloth and then I'm gonna spray the primer on. 
I use the Bolt Zinser Bullseye 123 Primer. This literally is just kind of like a stain blocker. It basically helps with the adhesion of my material to the surface. I always use this as like an extra precaution. So I love this and they have it in a big, um, this bigger can. And you could see the spray nozzle on it. It actually sprays out similar to like a spray gun pattern. So you get much more coverage as it says. So I really like these are 10 bucks and it'll get me pretty much the whole unit with just one. It'll give me one good thin layer of, of primer over the surface. Boom, here we go. So we just got the primer on. It's pretty much almost dried up. It's the Krylon Tub and Tile. You can get that at a local Sherwin-Williams. I've used many different products and I really like this, especially because it's accessible and local. It's a two-part base with catalyst. Mixture one-to-one -one ratio. Agner Flexio. This gun is actually kind of a DIY gun. It's a paint gun, but it actually is very similar to the cap spray in a lot of ways. I still am loyal to my cap spray. However, my turbine burnt out, trying to see if that's under warranty, trying to get that repaired. In the meantime, I picked this up to try it out and actually have had it on a few jobs and it's working really well, surprisingly, because this is only $200. So I'm gonna show you how I'm using the Wagner Flexio with the Krylon tub and tile to make this guy look fresh and new. just wrapped up right here it's all finished up it's looking good nice and shiny never even know that there was damage in the side of the tub <laughs> <laughs>